Okay. HOCl. What is this, by the way? An acid. It's an acid. How did you know you're right? There's an H in front. Yeah, there's an H in front, so it's an acid. Ka. That's why we wrote Ka here, not Kb. You actually saw this in Chem 2A. This would be uh, hypochlorous acid. So then we want to know the pH of a one molar solution. Asking for pH when you have a weak acid or a weak base. Oh, this is a weak acid. How do I know this is a weak acid, by the way? It's not table. You got it. And what did you say? Yeah, exactly. It's not on the strong acid table. Everything not on that table is weak. Yeah. Would it be incorrect to write that down as HClO? Yeah, in Chem 2A you saw this as HClO. Same thing. Okay. Yeah. So the, the, as long as the acid is in the front, the, the two ions don't matter? Yeah, the two elements don't matter. In fact, this is a better way to write it than you saw in Chem 2A, because this is a chemical formula. It shows you how it bonds. H and then O is in the middle and CL on the end. So I was going to us the other way came to A. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I think just to simplify things, because the O's, like there was an HClO4, mm -hmm. those O's aren't all together. But I think just to write it nicely, yeah. they put all the O's in one location. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, so when you're asked for a pH of a weak acid, you have to use the ice table. There's no other way getting around it. You have to use the ice table. And pH essentially means I want equilibrium concentrations. So again, another hint that you want to isolate. And you'll see how that works. Because to get the pH, I have to know the negative log of H3O plus. And that's going to be an equilibrium concentration. So for this, it's a weak acid. You have to use the ice table. Everything is pointing towards the ice table. So you want to write out the reaction, HOCl plus H2O. Remember, we always add water when we're writing the Ka reaction. Add water in the reactants. The acid loses a proton, OCl minus. The base, in this case water, gains that proton. So this is the Ka, or the acidic reaction. Now we write I, C, and E. Uh, what state is water? Liquid. Liquid. We totally ignore liquids in your ice table. Okay, so just cross out that column. This uh, is given 0 0.100, and that's in molar, and that's the units we want in our ice table. What do I do with these here? Zero. Yeah, yeah, zero. Most cases when you get this chapter, 16 and 17, they're going to be zeros. So the Q is equal to what value here? Zero. Zero. It has to shift to the right. So minus x and then plus x and plus x. It has to shift towards zero. So the E line is just that sum of I plus C. So there's your ice table. I will erase the top. and write out K, the equilibrium uh, expression. K is equal, I already know this value, 3.5 times 10 to the minus 8. So that's the value given in the question. This is equal to the products over the reactants. Same as before, no new con so far there's no new concept whatsoever. Same as before. Okay, this equals x times x, or x squared on top, divided by 0 0.100 minus x. And now we're back to the quadratic equation. The nice thing about acids is there's a... Uh, a concept you might have seen a little bit in the previous chapter that makes the problems actually much easier. So let me erase the ice table, or at least part of it. Uh, when you're doing these problems, let me 
can see I have a little uh, formula for you. Yeah. If you notice the following, the concentration of the acid, when you divide that by K, you don't need this to solve the problem, but I just want to write this down. If that is greater than 100, approximately, you can make the you you can do the following trick, which makes it really easy. Okay, so notice in our case, concentration of HOCl is 0.1 divided by Ka, which is 10 to the minus eighth. This is a huge number, way bigger than 100. So the following little trick is going to prevent you from using your quadratic formula. So it's going to be rare in this chapter, in chapter 17, to use your quadratic formula anymore. What you're going to do is you're going to assume that x is a lot smaller than the concentration of the acid. Which means in this formula, you're going to say that goes to 0. Now there's going to be no more quadratic formula because your equation at this point is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 8 equals x squared over 0.1. So I just say, well, x squared is equal to uh, 0 0.100 times 3.5 10 to the minus 8. And if I take the square root of both sides, now I have x. Take the square root. There's x. So you totally bypass your quadratic formula. That's a little trick that's going to work for almost all problems that are weak acids. Or weak bases, the same thing will work. So I got 5.9 times 10 to the minus 5. value for x, you can see that it's true. x is a lot smaller than 0.1. So if you even try this in your calculator, 0.1 plus this number, it should come back as pretty much 0.1. So that's going to be our little trick uh, when we do these weak acids. Otherwise, it's exactly the same as before. Uh, now, let's see what it wanted. It wanted the pH. Well, the pH, if you look back in your ice table, I erased most of mine. Uh, this x should be the H3O plus concentration, right? So, yeah, you have a question. Um, so, when can you assume that uh, x is basically zero? When this happens. Okay. When basically Ka is really tiny compared to the co initial concentration. Okay. Yeah. If you ever see that Ka is really tiny compared to the initial concentration, your acid or base, then it's going to work. Okay, so. Uh, from your ice table, if you look back on it, uh, x is going to equal your H3O plus concentration, which is 5.9 times 10 to the minus 5. Then pH equals negative log of H3O plus, which is the negative log of x, or the negative log of 5.9 times 10 to the minus 5 then you'll, you'll have your pH, which is 4.23 in this problem. So the pH is found from an equilibrium concentration. Does that kind of make sense? This is your standard weak acid sort of question. And that answer tells us the... Now you know the pH. pH is concentration dependent. So if I change the initial concentration to 0.2, you'd have to redo all of this. And put 0.2 in the I line. And then you'd have a 0.2 right here. So every time you change your concentration, it'll change the pH. So this tells you, oh, it's slightly acidic, which is what we expected because we started with the acid. If something's like 70, or not 70, 7.010, is it still considered basic or is it like largely neutral or what? Yeah, it's mostly neutral, if it would be that. Uh, so for a test, you can write like approximately neutral, very slightly basic, however you want to do it. Okay. That'd be fine. 